I've got the MSR Habescape Lounge six person and the Marmot Limestone six person. These are two tents that share a lot of things in common. I've had the Marmot tent for three or four years. I've done a ton of camping with it and the MSR tent is pretty much brand new. I've only used it on one trip but it was a pretty rainy trip, so at least I've tested it out in some bad weather. The main obvious difference between these two tents is that the MSR version has a lounge or a front porch which extends out the front door, whereas the Marmot tent doesn't. So they both have an interior space of 100 by 120 inches. The difference between the MSR tent is that it's 120 inches long by 100 inches wide. The Marmot tent is more built in width. The other difference is in the number of poles. So the MSR tent has significantly more poles. It has two main structural poles and then four kind of little struts that help bring out the walls. The Marmot tent has two main structural poles and two separate poles that are kind of struts that, that give you more interior space. There is a pretty big difference in terms of how the space is organized because of the poles. They have a definite pre-bend right here at this corner, which means that you have very vertical walls just by design, whereas the MSR tent is a dome tent, so the whole tent curves over the top. They both do have front and rear doors. How the doors work are quite different. The MSR tent is symmetrical. It doesn't have a front or a back, whereas the Marmot tent has a front and a back in terms of the inner. So you have to decide what's gonna be your front and what's gonna be your back when you're setting up the tent. The MSR tent, you just have to decide where is my door gonna be? And then you just put the fly on based on how you wanna use the tent. The Marmot tent has a rear vestibule. It's small, but it has a rear vestibule and the rear door is not a mosquito netting, so it blocks the wind a little bit. The MSR is the same front and back, but it doesn't have a rear vestibule. It has a large door that opens, but no rear vestibule. And the nice thing about the MSR tent is that you do have mesh at the back, so you get a pretty good cross breeze through the whole tent. Whereas with the Marmot tent, you have to actually open the door a little bit at the back to get that cross breeze. So if there's a lot of bugs or something like that, that's a little bit of a disadvantage. In terms of how the doors work, the Marmot tent is pretty interesting. You can open it as a half door and roll it open, or you can open it all the way around, drop the mesh into a little pocket here and have a wide open door like that. The MSR tent has a very simple kind of large L-shaped door. It has two zippers, so you can just open it part way, zip it across. You can open it halfway like that and get in, or you can open the whole thing up, roll it back and have a nice open door. That is identical on the front and back of the tent because it doesn't have a front or back in terms of the inner. The MSR tent has a lot of pockets. So it's got nice pockets up top, one, two, three, four pockets up top, four large pockets around the sides, and then another two pockets, which they call pass-through pockets, which, which give you access to the outside. So, so that's basically 10 pockets. Pockets on the MSR tent are placed nicely above the ground. Often I find that tents have their pockets very low to the ground. So if you go over to the Marmot tent, it has a slightly more limited number of pockets. It only really has four pockets, one at each corner, definitely down close to the ground. And then these two other pockets that are designed to hold the doors. Now, I do use those as door pockets. And it has some little light pockets up top here. So these are the kind of pockets where you're supposed to put your headlamp or some kind of light and it kind of helps diffuse the light out. There are quite a few pockets in the Marmot tent also, but I find that the overall pockets are more usable and have a better layout and organization in the MSR tent. Something to keep in mind in terms of those little details is that this is an older generation limestone. There is a newer generation limestone that might have minor updates. From what I can see on the webpage and from the, and from the pictures and description, it's overall the same design, but my guess is that they have made some minor updates in terms of maybe things like pockets and, and, and stuff like that. So I can't really comment on that. Marmot tent is a little bit more color coded. The moment you open up the poles, the two main structural poles are orange and the strut poles are gray. You immediately know which pole is gonna go where. The MSR tent 
all of the poles are red. The tips have di slightly different colors. So these tips have red and the other tips have black. But that is a pretty minor detail that you start to have to figure out while you're setting up the tent. Even the first time I set up the tent, I've set up a lot of tents before. I had an idea of what it was gonna be like, but I kind of hummed and hawed about what went where, which pole was which. Altogether, it's a pretty simple tent to put up, but I do find the MSR tent takes longer to set up than the Marmot tent. Again, I've been using this tent for years. This tent is newer to me, so I haven't worked out like the, the, the quickest workflow for it yet, but it's taking me 20, about 20, 25 minutes to get all set up, probably closer to 20 minutes. The Marmot tent takes me about 15 or less. So it's a minor difference when you're getting set up and maybe it's late at night and you get to your campground, that time can make a little bit of a difference. Something else about the poles is the overall diameter. These are pretty beefy tent poles, but the Marmot tent poles are even, even more so. They're probably five eighths or something diameter versus half inch. I'll measure the difference. It gives you a lot of confidence with the marmot poles that they're so beefy. I think you need thicker poles because of the way the structure is set up that you have those vertical walls and pre-bend. So you need a more rigid pole so that the whole thing doesn't flex out. Whereas the tent poles in the MSR tent do a full kind of dome curve on each one. So they can probably be a little bit thinner and still give you enough strength. In terms of stormworthiness, I've used the Marmot in a ton of rain over the years. And I've used the MSR tent only once in rain. Now it held up really well. They have a very similar design in terms of the fly coming down to a tensioner at the ground. They have a lot of stakeout points around the tent and some side pullouts to get the fly away from the side of the tent. The Marmot uses uh, plastic buckles. MSR tent has a little bit more metal hardware in terms of where the poles connect. I don't even know what to call them. Pole docks or pole connectors. They work really well. Overall, I think that the tents from a feature point of view and a build point of view are very similar. I don't think you can really go wrong and say that one is significantly better or worse than the other. I'm not a material person, like I don't look at material specs very often, but I think that the material on the Marmot tent for the floor is a little bit thicker. And that's just, and that's just my take on it. I'd have to look at the specs to make sure that that's true, but that's just my feeling. I kind of like the feel of the Marmot fabric a little bit more. It's not a deal breaker for me at all. I'm not gonna make a, a choice in terms of which tent I'm gonna use based on, the, on that factor. I think they're both waterproof enough. I think they're both gonna be durable enough in the long run. Pass through pocket. So this pocket lets you sort of drop things into the tent from the outside and someone get it from the inside without having to open the tent up. The Marmot tent has another strange little pocket up here that I don't really understand. I don't think you can get in from the inside. I guess that's just supposed to be like where you keep your car keys or something like that. But there's no pass through style pocket on this version of the tent. In terms of livability, I think that's where there's a pretty big difference. The Marmot tent has very steep sidewalls. And I find from the inside, I have a lot of livability. The, the peak is less high in the Marmot tent than in the MSR tent, but you get more height throughout the size, throughout the whole tent. And I think the walls are a little bit steeper. The peak is pretty much the same height actually, but I'm limited in terms of front and back. It's really pretty good. But when you go to the sides, you lose that height quickly. Now I don't spend much time standing in a tent, but that's a little bit of a difference. Maybe it's more of an illusion. Maybe it's just that I'm thinking that they're less vertical. We're normally four in our camping tents. So my wife and I and our two boys. So what we normally do is have two adults, two kids. In this tent, the last time I went, we went camping, it was just myself and the boys. I put myself and the two boys and it was just fine. But if I want to go two adults, two kids, one, two, three, four. I don't know about you guys, but just sort of the, the, the sort of habit that you get in is that you kind of put the kids at the back of the tent 
and we have large uh, 30 inch wide by 80 inches long sleeping pad. I'm gonna lay out my pads and see what that looks like. So that's the two 80 inch by 30 inch Mondo King mattresses set up. So this is from the back of the tent, from the back door. Definitely the space here for two 20 inch mattresses, but you know, getting in and out of the tent, you're gonna have to cross over if you don't wanna use the second door. So these are the two 30 inch wide by 80 inch long mattresses set up in the Marmot tent. And you can see that you have the leftover space there for our two kids and that it definitely makes getting in and out of the tent easier because if you're lying down here and you wanna get out in the night, you just scoot down to the end of your mattress, unzip one of the sides and get out. We kind of have our own door and leave our shoes there. The kids kind of have their own door and leave their shoes there. You're lined up in a row along the length of the rectangle here with the front door on one of the long sides of the rectangle. Whereas in the MSR tent, the doors are on the short side of the rectangle. I find the livability, the interior livability in terms of getting in and out, probably easier on the Marmot tent. That leaves the one last big difference. This front porch is why I wanted to try this tent out versus the Marmot. When it's raining and you need to close and open this door, even when it's not raining, if you wanna close the door at night, especially in the rain, it's a pain. And I've been in a lot of rain with this tent. When you let the, when you let the door open, it kind of falls into the tent. Then you crawl in and remember the door here might be closed. So if I close up this door, you know, because there's a lot of mosquitoes or something, and I typically would have one side zipped already, so imagine it's raining and I'm, I'm, I'm not a little person, but I gotta like get up right up against here. I'm touching the side of the tent. And you know, I'm, I'm this little crouched guy. I get, I have to get all crouched. I'm up against the side of the tent and this part kind of bugs me. There's decent amount of usable space in the vestibule to store things, but getting in and out is kind of a pain. The weekend that I used this tent, it rained quite a lot and I didn't shut the door once because it is so far away from the actual tent. It would need to be really windy and really raining hard for me to consider closing this door. Any water, the majority of the water hitting the tent isn't going out over the front of it. It creates a little bit of a lip here. So yeah, you'll get a bit of water hitting here and falling down. The design overall does a really good job of keeping rain away from the front of your tent. You can put a chair in here with it open and sit on the chair and not get wet. I often have a little folding hunting chair with me. I can put the chair in my tent over here. I'll use a stump right now, but I can put my shoes. So right now I'm sitting on a, a little stump. You can have a little chair in here. You can have two chairs in here. You can actually enjoy this front porch if you don't have a tarp or something with you and it gives you some livable space. It makes it really easy to put on and take off your shoes. So I really, really like that feature in terms of livability. It's huge. Once I close that, I can let that fall and I'm not, you know, struggling kind of the same way and up against the material the same way. So you have this big space in here. I'm literally walking around in the front porch sitting down in here. I've got a ton of room. This is almost the size of some two person tents. You could almost sleep someone in here. You could definitely sleep a dog in here, still have space to get in and out. It's why I wanted to try this tent out and it definitely came through on how functional this is. There are some other nice features that MSR does and incorporated into this tent, like this little gutter. So this gutter is designed to stop water from going over this in, in from the inside and actually getting into the zipper. I have that feature on my Elixir One and that works. So it has the same design feature on the back here. It has a gutter to make sure that rain from the main body of the tent runs down the gutter and doesn't go over into the door. It has that on both sides. So these are the two tents with the flies off. You got the MSR tent with these four struts. So one, two, three, four. You can see they're all the same color. The overall 
pole diameter is the same on all of them. The diameter is less compared to the marmot tent. The marmot tent has these two side struts that pull out the whole structure. The side struts aren't the part that are giving the majority of the strength to the tent. You can see that these do have the pre-bend here. Poles aren't pre-bent on the MSR tent. You can see that it has mesh all the way around and that the there is no front or back to the tent. It has a definite front and back with the front being all mesh, the back having some of that thin nylon that's kind of a bit more wind resistant. This kind of nylon uh, panel is, is breathable, but not the same way as a mesh. So overall, you know, these tents have very similar space, slightly different geometry. The main difference is that vestibule and how you're gonna lay out your sleeping bags and how you're gonna sleep inside there. So overall, I think these are both great high quality tents and it comes down to a little bit of personal preference what features are more important to you versus the other. The lounge feature on the MSR tent just is a huge selling point and gives it a lot more livability. The fact that the MSR tent is set up in length versus the Marmot tent that's more set up in width is a pretty big difference. Think that the MSR tent is designed that way because it would be difficult to create the lounge component or the front porch along the width. It would just be enormous. I think that that's a design compromise. So from my point of view, it really comes down to what's more important to you, the layout or the lounge. In terms of the design quality, the setup and everything like that, I think they're pretty much neck and neck. They're very similar packed size. One of the nice features of the MSR tent is that it comes with a, a large bag that you kind of just stuff everything in from the top and cinch it down. The Marmot's more of a classic kind of stuff sack, one of the ends that opens and you have to fold everything to get it in there. Something that I find unfortunate with both of the tents is that they just come with standard aluminum shepherd's hooks. You can see that this one's been abused and bent. They're basically useless. I've never used the stakes and will never use the stakes that come with the MSR tent and just replace them with long steel stakes from Amazon. The Marmot tent does throw in a piece of pole repair tubing. A tent is one of the parts of your camping system that it's worth spending the money on. If I'm gonna cheap out on things, it'll be things like the kitchen and stuff like that. But I wanna stay dry. I want a tent that's gonna last a long time. Gonna get those features and performance with a higher end tent. If you want to see more front country and family camping videos, I've got a video that goes over my complete camp kitchen and also some of the essential gear that I bring with me on every trip.